I decided to wear my onesie because I don't have anything to wear! Oh shit! has a great start to a great year and I hope that we can all bring in all the positive energy and just lift each other's souls and just bring kindness to the world okay so uh, for this video I really did not feel like getting dressed as you could see this is the first time I ever owned a onesie in my life I received it as a gift uh, from my neighbor Gretchen thank you so much Gretchen she got it for me for Christmas and I never expected to ever wear a onesie but you know it is really freaking cool I'm really liking it and even though Christmas is over I'm still be a reindeer okay so thank you so much Gretchen I love this onesie so so much um, so yeah sorry for the lack of effort in my outfit today um, your girl is just chilling at the house so I hope you guys can understand <laughs> today's video is going to be a favorite I haven't made a favorite in forever forever ever forever ever this is going to be my December favorites, but in actuality, I been loving these products way before December. None of these products were brand new to me for the month of December. I was gone in Korea for a month, so I really didn't have any time to try out anything new. I actually didn't even have time to wear makeup for like a whole month, so I just want to throw that out there that these products weren't discovered in December. They were discovered earlier on, and they are now just making it to my December favorites. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the first products I want to talk about, it's more than one product this has been my skincare regimen for um, I would say more than four months the last time I went to Korea I purchased all of these things and I've been using them every day ever since and I'll go on and off and try other products but pretty much the foundation of my skincare regimen is within these products so the brand that I'm talking about is Era and this is a Korean brand and I bought this in Korea pretty sure you can maybe buy these online just kind of Google and do your research but the brand is Eta and I am currently using six products within the line for my everyday skincare regimen the very first product that I use is the Eta Aquabolic and it's a moisturizing water and this is pretty much your like softening lotion in Korea you call it skin it's the very first step you do for your skincare and it's a very liquidy you dab a little bit on your hands and you just pat it into the skin it's really really refreshing it adds moisture back into your face because when you are cleansing your face and stuff you're taking so much moisture out and you're drying yourself out so I use this first the second product that I use is the cell essence and right here it says uh, this is cell bio fluid sink and and it kind of tells you what it does balancing moisturizing revitalizing energy skin evenness skin brightness uh, transparency firming it has all these really great ingredients to renovate your skin and just add a lot of moisture back into your skin and all of these products together work really really well they have changed my life so um, yeah this is what I use next and then I'll go in with my serum and this is the waterin gel serum and it's a really uh, thin light serum that's more of like a gel and I'll just add that right on top of the cell essence and then after that I'll use the aquabolic moisturizing emulsion and this is for moisture supplyness and re revitalizing and this is the actual lotion I really like it it's not too thick it's um, really light and it does moisturize really really well and then I'll go in with my eye serum it is a gel it's a roll-on eye serum and this stuff is really really nice it has a silver uh, rolly ball tip and it gets really really cold you run it under your eyes and it will kind of help with depuffing the eyes if you have really uh, heavy bags the formula of this product is really really nice for under the eyes it's really lightweight nothing too crazy nothing too heavy and the last product is the cell bio cream and this is the good stuff that has all the really good ingredients to just really take care of your skin and this is the cream that you use at the very end and it's really thick and this is really going to hydrate your skin as a whole I use all of this every night in the morning time I really don't like to do all the steps because I am putting makeup on and it's just way too many layers and I feel like the products can't really work all together because it's just so much 
stuff on my face so I like to keep it really minimal during the morning so just like the softener and lotion and then my makeup but for the nighttime that's when you're sleeping and everything is working really good in your face and that's when all the magic happens so I like to do the whole routine every single night I will remove all my makeup I will cleanse my face twice and I will go through this whole skincare regimen every night. Even though it seems like it's a lot of product, it really works well together. I've been using them for months and in Korea, if you guys aren't familiar with the skincare in Korea, it's really, really a big deal. Um, Koreans look, like take care of their skin to the teeth. I almost feel like embarrassed when I go there because my skin is like shit compared to theirs. <laughs> theirs is like super light and flawless and pale like no sun exposure whatsoever so yeah i like to take a, a few tips from them i'd be glad to take a few tips from them i used to have a lot of scarring from just wearing makeup at an early age and not taking care of my skin and acne uh, post scars and stuff like that and this has really really helped rejuvenate my skin and I see the difference and, and even though it's a shit ton of steps at night and sometimes I come home drunk and I'm like trying to get in bed but I'm like in the back of my head girl get up wash your face and do your skin regimen because it will be that much better for your skin and you will not regret it in the mornings. So that is my first favorite and sorry I've been rambling on about it but I really wanted to kind of finally talk about it because I haven't really talked about it yet as a whole. Um, definitely check them out. Um, I'll try to find some links below and also just do your research on any other kind of like Asian skincare brands. They're really really nice. They work really well so I highly recommend them. My next favorite deals with lashes and I really want to put these in my favorites again but I've honestly don't know how many times I've probably put the Laura lashes in my favorites. Um, these are the lashes I'm currently wearing right now. They are called Girl You Crazy. I know there's some new viewers who this is probably your first time hearing me talk about Valora lashes, but there you go. I love these lashes. But this isn't the main thing I want to talk about in my favorites today. The main thing I want to talk about is this glue right here. Valora lashes came out with a lash glue a few months ago, I believe, and I received the white one first. So the white one is supposed to dry clear, and it does. But I'm just not a big fan of the white glue, and I didn't even know they were coming out with a dark tone. This one is my shit. <laughs> First off, it's a really cool, uh, unique way to make a lash glue. It kind of comes off like one of those twisty lip glosses. So you twist it a few times and the glue pops out. Um, it's dark tone, so it dries dark, which is what I love because I always do, nine times out of 10, I do a dark liner and I like my lash glue to dry dark so that it blends in with the eyeliner. Um, the reason why I love this so much, and you guys know I'm a big fan of Duo. The reason why I like this a lot is because with Duo, you need to, just say you put the glue on the lash strip, you have to wait for the glue to get tacky, right? You have to wait 30 seconds, kind of do this little number right here or blow on it, whatever the case is so that it can get tacky so that when you put it on your eyes, it will stick. With this one, you don't need to wait, okay? I know. All you do is put it on the band and pop it right on. The formula is already tacky, so you don't have to sit here and wait 30 seconds, however long you need to wait. And I know it's just like 30 seconds, but sometimes I'm, re I'm really in a hurry and waiting a little bit of time kind of is a little frustrating. So don't get me wrong, I love Duo, I'm not saying Forget do all, I'll never use you again. But I'm just saying that this stuff is really good and I've been loving it and I have it all now. So Valora, good job girls on this lash glue. I love it. <laughs> it's about to be winter and everything is starting to dry up. Your elbows, your knees, your body, your skin, your lips. I cannot tell you how bad it is to run around with chap lips, okay? You gotta keep them smooth like a baby's booty. And for me, what's been working lately, it's the Burt's Bee Soothing with Eucalyptus and Menthol, okay? It has the green cap. That is how you know you have the right one because they have a lot of different flavors and nothing compares to this one. Trust me, I've tried them all because this one was sold out everywhere. So I just got desperate and tried the other flavors of Burt's Bees, but no. This one is the one you need because of the eucalyptus and menthol. It really like gives you a cooling sensation and it really, it just recovers your chapped lips a lot faster and it's 100% natural. You guys know Burt's Bees are sold at CVS, Walgreens, but most of the time I can't find this one, so. 
Uh, if you can't find this one, just wait on it and try and hunt it down because this really, really works really good and my lips have been smooth ever since. The last beauty item I want to talk about is this bad boy right here and this is from Korea. It's the Surprise Concealer from Etude House and if you guys aren't familiar with Etude House, it's a Korean brand. It's very inexpensive kind of drugstore makeup brand. This concealer works really, really well. It's perfect for under my eyes, covering my dark circles. It's so inexpensive, it was like $6, so I love it. And um, I'm sorry I'm mentioning a lot of Korean brands, but I'll try to find some links that you can purchase them online. Um, this is really, really good stuff. I love the texture of it. It has a perfect thickness, but not too thick and not too liquidy. It's inexpensive and it works really well. So I, I absolutely love this concealer and I wish they had it in the States, but you can always order online. But yeah, I just thought I'd share this one with you. And lastly, I wanted to share my favorite song. There hasn't been an album in a long time for me where I can play each and every song without pressing the skip button. And this album, Gorgon City, Siren's album is amazing. I can listen to the whole thing without pressing skip and every song is just so dope. So my favorite song on the album is called Imagination and it goes a little something like this. favorites of December. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it and I'm so excited to get these videos out for you guys. Um, I'm really looking forward to 2015 and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.